Hello and welcome to Kate and Kat's podcast. We run our podcast a little differently than most. Our podcasts are completely spirit-led and we never know who we're going to have on or what's going to come up to heal. Every episode is a new adventure where we walk people through healing anything from spirit guides to past lives to inner child work, how the energies and trauma affects the mechanical workings of our physical bodies, and exploring time, space, and dimensions and how it's all happening now. This podcast is for beginners and experts alike. This can be considered explicit content to some, as we do not edit ourselves. And sometimes deep trauma work comes up unexpectedly. And also we cuss like sailors. On this episode of Kate and Cat Live, we had a little chit-chat with each other. We decided to do a little get-to-know-us type of live and relax with our phones while we asked each other questions about our personal journeys. We talked about church camp, working together, spirit guide things, old spiritual habits, and thought processes. We had so much fun and hope you all enjoy getting to know us a bit better. So without further ado, if you love bad bitches... And that's your fucking problem. On with the podcast. Hi. Hi. Look, there's words now. I don't know if you saw. Join us. Heal your ish. Hi, guys. What's up? Look, I figured out how to do a little sticker. Oh. It's cute as fuck. Hey. Enhance. Don't worry, cat. It made my eyes so big. Oh. Hey, guys. It's for me to see you with. Okay. It's just a picture of your profile picture. Oh, so. uh, just kidding. <laughs> Nancy, you probably thought it was a weirdly placed poster because you're high. Oh, sorry. Um, dead bitch, if you just got done lucid dreaming and now you feel wonky, say spirit if it's in my highest good, please apply the closing statements to me as needed. There you go. How do you want to do this? Well, I was thinking of, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I was thinking tonight, <clears throat> and I talked to her with Kate. Why is it <clears throat> making me want to cough? <clears throat> a, a little get-to-know-you kind of thing. And there's a lot of stuff that I know about Kate and, like, her background and where she came from and how she stepped into her, like, I guess what you, what most people call spiritual practice, but it's really not because what we do doesn't really fit into all of that. Um, like, I guess the multidimensional stuff. And then like you and I have had a journey together yes. and we've learned a lot of stuff together. Um, Yancy said they know it's not Alabama. Yes, that's right, Yancey. It was not Alabama. I had never been to Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do, okay, so explain that. So they want to know, like, for the people that just didn't get that it, uh, that you actually didn't want to be that, that it was just a whatever. What did that post mean? Oh, okay. Uh, so for reference, I made a post that it was supposed to be what you wanted to be when you grew up versus what you are now. So uh, what I wanted to be when I grew up, and this is, um, I think I started this when I was two, from like two to whenever, because right after that was like aircraft stuff. And then I was like, oh my God, doctor, I'll do that instead, not aircraft for some reason. Uh, so I just knew that I wanted to be a preacher in a church in Alabama. I had never been to Alabama before. Uh, never, ever. And, and never? also, I had, didn't have any religious anything. I did not understand the concept of religion. We did go to church, uh, but I didn't think they were talking to me. I thought they were, 
of very cheeseburgers, still very cheeseburgers. Didn't think they were talking to me. Thought that we were just talking, just talking. People just talk. Hanging out in fancy clothes in a big old building. This is what people do. I'm peopling <laughs> right now. Wow, look at these people. Do you, think you, do you think you saw a documentary or was it like a bleed over? Did you read a book? Like what happened? Because that's such a like an obscure thought. Can you channel what happened? You're smirking. Because it's it would be a bleed over. Whenever I was that age, all I did was watch animal documentaries and read uh, books about cats and tigers and uh, the wildlife and the jungles. I don't think Alabama has jungles. (laughs) (laughs) So if you go to church in Alabama. Kate, do you want to watch a movie? It's a documentary. (laughs) Then I'm not interested. They would hate it at daycare. They'd be like, all right, what's everyone's favorite movie? I'd be like, The Vanishing Prairie. (laughs) They would just be like... And they would hate it. They would hate it. They'd hate uh, watching it with me. This was a document, a documentary. Yancy said the devil went down to Georgia, but her preacher went up to Alabama. That's right. Yes. That's right. It was a good time. And, yeah. And guess what? I still saved that VHS. I have it. I still have it. Because why did I like it? I don't know. It, it's just there, just in case I ever... Do you still have a VCR? Not anymore. We need to figure, like, we need to get one and watch it. Oh, so my I want to see, I want to see what it was that had a grip on you. Like, I want to see. I, wanna see. I, I, I can was, probably find it on YouTube, right? I don't know. This was such an obscure <laughs> document. It was, like, the only documentary in my house. And How did you find it? it? I don't why know. Did you- my grandmother is what I got. It would have to have <laughs> been my grandmother. I mean, my dad had a collection of National Geographic. So we used to, I had a basement, which was very rare to have in Florida. And he would do pottery on a pottery wheel down there. And he had a whole shelf full of National Geographic. And I remember I was like, it wasn't so much that there was nudity in there. I was more um, enamored by the jewelry on the neck you know, that would stretch out the necks and then the discs that they would put in their ears and their lips. I was always like, huh, wow, that seems like really uncomfortable. And I I understood, I couldn't, like, I wasn't reading the stuff. I was just looking at the pictures and I understood the significance and I understood the culture of it. But like, it was just so odd that there were people in the world living different lives. And that's what enamored you was, okay, was that, well, it was everything about it. I just remember everything. I was like, I knew exactly how the beginning went. It was a paintbrush and it painted paint stuff, but paint of water, watery paint. And it would paint pictures of birds and, and cats and paw prints and that was the beginning and you were like, of it. Oh my god, this yes. is the best. Yes, I was like, I know this is gonna be so good, it's be so good, guys. Look at this paint. And then everybody was just like, ah. uh, you like brought it in. You brought it into oh, daycare. Yes. Of course I did. Oh. It was like, <laughs> like always, I always brought it in. Nobody wanted to watch it. They would rather Veggie Tales because it was a church daycare. Right. So right. that makes sense. Veggie Tales. We watched. Veggie Tales. My senior year of high school, I went to a church. Um, like a, it was called. It was a Christ and CIY Christ and Youth Convention. They held it in Tennessee, mm-hmm. and we would take our church van up to you know the church camp or whatever. And Veggie Tales just came out, and we were. I was a senior in high school, and they put that shit on the main screen, and we were so cheesy, like we wear little kid barrettes, you know, because like late 90s early 2000 fashion okay. and we just lost our shit about the fucking hairbrush and shit we were like this is the best oh my god hairbrush where is it i don't know i just, I just sang that to chris this morning oh where's your hairbrush oh my god i don't know we were like, this is fucking funny and it was like it's for little kids we thought it was just i don't i don't know what we thought like ironically Something. Oh, like, I don't know. Uh, 
not Family Guy, but like SpongeBob. It was supposed to be an adult show or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it was just an ironic kind of thing for teens, but it wasn't. I had, well, it definitely wasn't senior year. It had to have been, because I'm not that much older than you. It had to have been freshman year, at least. Freshman or sophomore. I used to have um, I Love My Lips memorized. It was when Larry the Cucumber went to the therapist Mm -hmm. and he sang and there was this part that talks like really, 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 really fast. And I tried to do one of those TikTok videos where you put the computer and you say along with it or whatever. But um, it was back when like during quarantine and it like the video didn't say it because the song was copywritten. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Um, what, what did you want to be when you were younger? An artist or an actress. Okay. For why? Like, what was the draw to that? <laughs> draw. Hey, right. cause artist. Um, if people didn't know what to get me for Christmas, they would get me art supplies. Mm-hmm. Um, I was always doing the art drawing and then actress because I was always doing the singing and the dancing. It just made sense. It just seemed like it lied. Mine made sense. Hey. Mine with you were me my- makes sense too. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Preacher from Alabama. Preacher in Alabama church. Uh, but I want to be a preacher in church now, but and then everybody thought it was hilarious. Just yeah, like of my course entire it does. life. Yes, my entire life. So funny. Was the tree okay? <laughs> no one would ask that. You've got, you can't just say that. You've got to give the context for that. You can't just say, is the tree okay? Uh, okay, so, like, I thought, okay, I assume everybody knows the things. Anyway, so, so y'all know how, like, uh, people on the spectrum, Asperger's and all that, do, like, uh, sarcasm is the worst thing I've ever, like, had to combat, I guess. Because uh, if you think about it, it's just a bunch of people being buttholes. Uh, but it's not. It's sarcasm. So um, until I started working in the emergency room, I just thought everyone was a bunch of buttholes. Like they were just randomly yelling at me or randomly uh, being mean. And it was the weirdest thing. So uh, I just played it off until uh, people kept laughing because like the ambulances would come in with the patients and they would give a report to the nurses. I was a tech at the time. And uh, so I'd sit there and listen and they'd be like, oh, yes, person ran into a tree off the highway, whatever, whatever. And I'd be like, is the tree OK? And they'd just be like, mm, ah, mm, ah, ah, ah. and this would be like multiple times of them doing this. Multiple. <coughs> and I'd be like, why is this so funny? Like, does that mean the tree's OK? Well, then I figured out it was because nobody, nobody would ask that. Nobody would wonder. It, obviously, no one would. Because then I started dissecting why they were laughing every time. I'd be like, okay. And, if, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And I'd be like, of course, nobody would w- would ask that. I am hilarious. That's it. That's how I discovered it. Because everybody always said that I had a dry sense of humor. And I was and you like, were like oh, yes. no. Well, no. I didn't know what that meant. So I just was like. Sure, like, sure. Yes. That's like a me. pack of ramen. That's me. <laughs> Yes, you know me so well, random people. Um, I know when I got a little bit older and I started to be sarcastic, I would say I wanted to be a number in the corporate system or a soccer mom as a joke. Oh. And then I became a number in the corporate system and a soccer mom. Well, you got what you wanted. I mean. I see, I never got to be a preacher in a church in Alabama, so... When I was... Okay, so at that COI convention when I was a senior in high school, um, they had this... This is a weird story. So they had, like, a theme of, like, taking your masks off, as in, like, um, let people see, like, the real... Like, being authentic and stuff. Yeah. And, like, having people in your youth group hold you accountable. And so I... This is when I did the thing where I was like, okay, just letting you know, because AOL was new. I was like, I like to meet people online, like guys online, and have phone sex with them because I had my own phone line. 
mm-hmm. like that was a thing and i was like and that's not very christian of me and i would like the preacher's daughter to hold me accountable and um she didn't uh but also in that same year i was like i tried acid for the first time and i loved it can't wait to try it again and then also in that year i was like i also want to be a youth minister when i grow up And my youth minister was like, I don't think that that's such a great idea. And I was like, listen, Tim, I'm glad that you waited till marriage. I'm glad you never did drugs. I'm glad that you have all your morals intact. But don't you think I'd be able to help the youth group better since I've experienced the things? And uh, he and I had a falling out and then we didn't talk again. And he was like, I'm going to tell you. He's like, I'm going to tell your mom, because I was moving to Arizona. He's like, I'm going to tell your mom you did drugs. And I was like, I'm moving across the country. You're not going to tell her shit. I'm 18. I'm not in your youth group anymore. You're not going to fucking do fucking shit. I was like, I will tell her when I'm ready. Hey, hey. It actually sounds like a lot of fun. Did you at least have fun? When? When you went to these outings. What? To the... To the camp things yeah um yeah that also that senior year was when i would i dressed like really punk rock and i wore that bondage collar and i used a dog leash to hold the door open for everybody to enter and i just yeah. stood there in my shredded shirt and my short short plaid skirt and my combat boots and i was like hi welcome welcome hi hi welcome and my youth minister was like uh can you please can you please not and i was like not be friendly why tim why timothy does it make you uncomfortable mm-hmm. well he didn't like me representing like um snn kind of stuff or like dog on a leash so it made him really uncomfortable because he did it in his bedroom or because he liked that kink um we had many different discussions about how uh like if he discovered an actor was gay or if an actor played a gay role they were void, null and void. They they didn't exist to him anymore. He didn't want anything to do with them. So I like had so conversations with him. Him. Yes. So I had conversations with him. Yes. So I had conversations with him, and I was like, "Listen, what if I was? What if I was born a pathological liar? What if? I mean, like, I couldn't help it. It was a mental thing for me. Lying's a sin, right? And it's like I would still love you, but I wouldn't be able to be around you anymore because you chose that. And I was like, they don't choose that." These people do not choose this. He used to get mad at me, too, because, like, um, uh, like, he'd have a conversation and be like, Jesus was just like you guys. He had the thoughts just like you and didn't act on it. And I was like, well, isn't adultery thinking about? So either he was a perfect being or he was like, one of these is a lie. You tell me which one he was not a big fan of. Not like the other. One of these things is a lie. (laughs) <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm, I'm fucking, I can see you, Tim. You bitch. Did you, did you like do any youth group stuff or like you oh, went yes. to church camp too, right? Oh yeah, a lot. Uh, with my friend, with friends, yeah. What do you mean with friends? And just left it at that. Like, what kind of church camp was it? Like in a tent? Was it in a cabin? Was it like air conditions? Like what was it? No, it was like cabins in the woods. I had one of those that I went to, too, until fourth grade. There was one, like, every year, sometimes multiple times a year, and it was really nothing. Uh, I didn't really talk to anybody. I just sat there. Like, this was this was whenever I talked even less, way, way, way less. Uh, so I just, I would just sit there. I, just I know sit. you still, I know you still think that you don't talk very much. Uh-huh. But you and I talk all the time. Yes, you and me. So whenever you're like, I talk less than I do now. And I'm like, we talk all the time. (laughs) You and me talk. Well, I guess that's how it was back then, too. But even then, I would never talk about myself. Ever. Ever. They would ask me questions and I'd just be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Did your camp ever do one of those weird, like, acting out the death of Jesus kind of like, dramatic things mine did for sure in a theater mine was like Uh, all over the grounds like in the woods and we'd have to like watch him get beat by like whips and stuff and then like 
I would always uh, wander off. I'd be like, oh, this is a really good place to explore. And I remember fa- finding giant houses one time. Giant houses? What do you mean? Just, like just mansions? I, I think it was probably like other... I don't really know where the fuck we were. Now that I think about it, where were we? I don't even know what state we were in. I don't know. I just know that whenever we'd go out in the woods and they do like whatever kind of campfire, I would always wander off. I, I would yeah. sing. So I don't know. We'd, we'd sing uh-huh. a lot at the campfires. Like we'd, and, and like, I loved that because there was always strangers complimenting me on my singing. And I didn't get that from anyone else. So I, I really liked campfires. I stayed there. <laughs> C A M P F R E S R N G. You didn't watch SpongeBob. Nope. Um. Then what? I don't get it. Like, what would y'all do? Cause it, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to. I haven't thought about. I can this give you an entire. I can give you an entire itinerary for the day. And the last time I went was was fourth grade. I remember all of it. I remember all of it. Okay, did y'all have, like, a gathering hall, and then there was a barracks yeah. and stuff like that? We didn't call it barracks, so, like, barracks would be, like, where everybody slept? Yeah. We had different dorms. We, the girls' dorms were named, the girls' dorms were named after flowers. The guys' dorms were named after trees. Um, and then we had a cafeteria, but, like, towards second or third grade, they upgraded the cafeteria, mm-hmm. and then that cafeteria became, like, something else um there was a lake there were two different slides there was also like a boat situation like a paddle boat thing um we had an outdoor basketball like like you know cover we had canteen which was like a little it looked like a little train station but it, you know what i mean like one of those wooden spots or whatever yeah there was a nurse there was a nurse's station um there was archery um, there were different pavilions to do Bible study and like leather working and stuff like that. Okay. Um, were they we obsessed with, room. oh, sorry. Were no, they obsessed were. with pairing people together, like making people couples? Um, oh, so, uh, I helped people couple up. I was one of those people that was like, you know, you two would be really good together like relationship wise and I never had anybody interested in me at all huh. and that always like really like it fucked me up like it bothered me a lot and also all the girls in my dorm would like make fun of me for the way I dressed but then all ask me for fashion advice because I'd be the one that'd be like that belt doesn't match those shoes like if you're gonna wear that borrow you know who has it Susan has a belt that will go with those yeah that looks really good I think Elaine had a necklace I saw go see if you can borrow yep now you look good so they would ask me advice but they would always make fun of me too huh weird but you went with your friends Kate yeah Oh, oh yeah I would always go with them and I would always only talk were they, to them. Were they just summer friends or were they like friends that went to your church? Friends that went to my school. I would always go to their churches. Uh, like Pentecostal, uh, Methodist, Baptist. None of them were ever Catholic. I was the Catholic one. My family, I should say. I didn't go. Uh, yeah. And then they would all invite me to their camps. And um, the adults would all try to get me or try to ask me what music I listened to, because, of course, I wore barbed wire around my wrist and uh, black and had black hair or blue hair or whatever I decided. And so they would all ask me what music I would listen to, and uh, they would tell me why it was bad. And I'd be like, oh, cool. And then I just wouldn't engage. Like, you know, it was very... That huh? I got in trouble for wearing a crass shirt, the band crass, because their symbol is like a no smoking sign but with a cross in the center of it. <laughs> what are they? What is their uh, famous song? Crass? They're um, 1970s, 1980s UK punk rock. Okay. Um, they have songs like Do They Owe oh, Us a Living? Of course I do. Of course I do. Like stuff like that. Okay. Of course they Probably fucking do. Probably in Tony Hawk somewhere. 
Probably. And then there's like um, my favorite CD from them that you would probably like is called Penis Envy, and it's the girls uh, in the group. They are the like the leads of it all. Oh, it's a good album. That sounds so fun. And they also have a song called Big Hands, and it goes, His hands are big, they've got big hands, 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 big hands. Big hands, big hands, big hands. Other things? Does it mean that they have big gloves, too? I thought it was nail clippings. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Nail clippings. Weird. So who made you go, then, to your to these camps? Me, and I would make people go with me. Oh. Dude, even when I was, like, total punk rock, all my friends were goth and punk rock, I would be like, if you want to hang out with me, you're going to go uh, to Church with Me on Wednesdays uh, in the youth group, and I will make the youth minister, because the church was right behind the high school, mm-hmm. and I, I let them, um, I orchestrated it so they could park their cars really close to the school, but they had to go to youth group with me Uh so they'd come in with like their vampire teeth and they're like nobody wanted them there and we were just like hi we're here and i would lead the prayer group and i would lead the like all the stuff and yeah interesting i even had like um my boyfriend when i was like 15 16 um his parents who were like against church or whatever i convinced them and they became members of my church I was very oh. much like, come on. And then <laughs> fun. my boyfriend's mom was like, don't you want to sit with the other kids? And I was like, I am sitting with my friends. And it was like all the old ladies. Uh, That's who uh, I sat with. Yeah, I just didn't talk to anybody. Why was I even there? I don't, I don't know why I was even there. The, Where, the church? Asked, the camp and the church. They would ask me to go. And then like my crazy family's friends would ask me to go to their churches because you know that it had they had to make it seem like there was something wrong with me right and so they would ask me to go to their churches and it would be the same thing just i would just sit wouldn't say anything and then one time we got in a wreck before it and i was like yeah that's funny but it's like yeah before we went to this church that uh the crazy people's uh friends wanted me to go to because you know they were trying to save me cat <clears throat> what kind of wreck was it i was a uh, drunk driver behind us did that slammed already, into the back of us huh? did you want to go back and heal it um yes because the ct scan came back negative oh yeah well do you still need to i mean like and make it negative or did you already do it you already did it okay I should probably help my friend, too. My friend was there because uh, it was like the same awkwardness. I mean, it was like a church town. I went with one of my friends and they were Pentecostal and um, she couldn't she didn't have any other friends in school. It was my first time in public school. Mm-hmm. And um, since I had gone to private school, all the people that I knew, like I was brand new in, uh, again, fifth grade uh-huh. at a public school for the first time. And like. I didn't have new clothes and stuff because I would always destroy them. So my mom was like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not going to get anything new. So nobody liked me. Um, and I went with my friend and she couldn't cut her hair and she had to wear skirts and she couldn't swim with boys. And I went and they, the mom was like, um, we're a little bit loud. And I was like, we're so loud at my church too. Like, we're so loud. We sing they speak in tongues there and they like shake and they get their hands up and they fall on the floor when they catch the spirit. And I didn't know what to do. And so I was just sitting there like, like this Uh And on the ride home. The mom was like, I don't know how to ask you this, but do you worship the devil? And I was like, what? And she's like, that's what devil worshipers do. And the hand motion. And I was like, for those of you listening at home, all I did was um, put my two hands together uh, and, like, like I was holding hands with somebody. It was real weird. I would have been like, yes, how did you know? You I could not I, I couldn't do that. Me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Oh, my God. Weird. 
Okay. Okay. So, it was like so how did you? Things, huh? How did you get on like spiritual talk, witch talk? How did that even fucking happen for you? Because the stuff that's on your for you page is like welders. Uh, that how did you even get over there? That only recently started being on my for you page. Um, I have no idea. All I did was download TikTok, and I didn't have it before. I watched uh, YouTube videos and stuff of it. Of TikTok. You went on TikTok. You went on TikTok because people mention it in their YouTubes, right? Yeah, and I wanted to watch funny content. And then you were on there. That's it. That's that's how. Like, I don't, Am I that, funny to you? Do I look like a clown? No, that's. You? <laughs> Show me your shoes, cat. When I'm like, like I think of you and I think of Ben, and I'm like, how the fuck did you guys find me? Because like Ben's TikTok is just Spanish TikTok. <laughs> like, wh- how? I only recently got airplanes on my For You page, too. That's recent. The welders and stuff like that, that's very recent. Faux show. It's probably because you've done a lot of healing to your TikTok. To make it, like, Kate-like. For me. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even remember. It was, it was funny videos. That's what, that's what I liked on TikTok. And then you showed up, and I was just like, oh, yeah, she, uh, yeah, she's talking about the, I mean, I've been thinking this for years. Like, finally, somebody is here. This Anyway, but yeah, you kept showing up. I was like, oh yeah, that's, yep, been thinking this for years. Yep, I agree. Uh Uh-huh. Until she, until she didn't. Until I was like, oh my God, you said you've been to other, or you said you've talked to somebody from another country. Ah! She is married to someone from Australia. I had a video that had clients that I spoke to around the world. And Kate was like, no, bye. And then I got scared. I was like, do I do? <gasps> no. <clears throat> yes. And it was like, yes. Little do you know. Yeah, we had a we had a session. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't lie. It didn't wasn't a lie. It was just no, weird. It was it. ah a h ah. Bye. There's a couple people I did that to. Do you feel like the for you page is a significant message for us? What do you mean? Like um, like spirit messages, like that kind of stuff, like guided messages. Oh. Uh, mine doesn't seem to go that way, but cats does. Mine's curated to be that way, though. I tried to with mine, and it was like, ha no. You don't like, like it, though. Uh, yeah. It doesn't take very much for Kate to uh, block somebody, either. Like, at all. Like, it, it's not personal. Nothing is... So much is personal and emotional with me. Like, there's people that I'll want to block for three years, and I'll be like, not yet. They haven't, like, harmed me. But I hate seeing them, and I hate what they talk about. But not yet. Not yet. Someone talks about a color that Kate is, like, uh, not a fan of and says it's their favorite. And Kate's like, I don't agree with this person. Blah. <laughs> Not not a color. I mean, I used a different example than what actually happens, but... It has to be, like, a, a lie. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, even if it's genuine, even if they genuinely believe it, I'm like, wow, gross. And I'll be like, oh my god, and, and I'll send a video to Kate, and she's like, yeah, it's unavailable for me, I must have blocked him, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, this guy talks about, like, locations on the planet. Like, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, oh, what? there was <laughs> there's only a few people. Someone brought this up recently, but <laughs> there was someone who duetted one of Kate's videos and was telling talking about how like it was like her a seer video or something, and they were like talking shit about it or whatever. And Kate was like, "Your videos, like you talking hate, turns me on. Can I pay you for it?" And then the person sent them their like cash app or something, and Kate paid them because of the hate. It was just really funny. I was like, "Thank you, I Smashers made it to this," <laughs> and that was it. They tried to like their profile they, name. They tried to, to like describe what they look like or whatever, and Kate was like, "I don't know what you look like, nor do I care." <laughs> I uh, 
take my money for the hate and that's it <laughs> i don't care what you look like promise bye <laughs> don't know their username don't know what they look like couldn't tell you could not tell you <laughs> Yeah, mm. just didn't. I mean, she didn't. Yeah, she, the, 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 the queen, queen move. She j- just dead serious. Like, it was not a power play. It was literally, it is what it is. Bye. Thanks for the kink. Bye. Mm. Yeah, and I'm sitting over here going like, this person made a video at me. It feels like, like a wool sweater of hate. They know they want me to respond. Like, what do I do? What do I do? That's what you should do. <laughs> anyway. Kate, in case, like, just <laughs> masturbate to it. <laughs> You know what you should do. <laughs> ah, that makes me have to burp, and I don't know why. You used to study like, um, like witchy stuff, though, and you used to study like, like, um, mm-hmm. I don't know, all that, all that shit. The I don't know the names of things. Oh, um, like nature books and uh, the Greek whatever papyri or whatever the fuck yeah i have a lot of old books like that uh the dawn whatever dawn after one of our sessions before we were like friends um kate texted me and she was like i uh, i believe you're one of these gods like one of the like so i don't know what it was like some kind of pro pro whatever gods but she was looking at it like looking at it and i was used to people putting me in some kind of like spiritual hierarchy thing and i didn't know kate and i was i wasn't able to read kate because it takes a minute to read kate and i was like okay i mean i guess what i don't know what that means i don't know what you're trying to say and you were like nothing i'm just saying the thing that didn't like me either i did like you no, I really liked you. Thanks. Kat didn't like me either, guys. That's She's not like, true. I don't, I don't like know. it. That's I don't know true. about Scar. <laughs> no, that was when we were working with people and people were fucking with my head, man. And that was before we knew how to like remove intrusive thoughts and stuff. And that was when I was really worried about like good or evil and like, am I with the wrong people? Am I working with the wrong side? <laughs> Again. Uh, all that shit it takes a uh, while to deprogram that crap god dang that took a while to deprogram that that crap some of the videos i watch like my old series there's always i'm like i'll watch a series and i'll be like maybe this one's still good i'm like yep i still believe all like all of this this is all still true this is great and then it'll just mention one video that's like super gross and i kate and i just look at each other and go oh gross that's what it was called primordial being. Beings. That's what I thought. What are, yeah. What are what are primordial beings? They're uh, beings that the first beings ever. Oh, so everybody. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. But cool. Yes, it, yeah, I'm one of those. Like, that's it. That, that's, that's what you were shown for whatever. Yes. You're like, oh my god, stop putting me in a hierarchical position. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, how do I say no? Oh yeah, no. Greek magical papyri, Cajun. I don't know how really yet. Yeah. Oh, the discovering of the abilities. So, uh, Kate had uh, uh her head uh busted open when she was a baby, like busted it wide open and shake it like, on the floor. Yeah, and uh, all of her stuff just opened the fuck up really hardcore. Um, and also, she's very spectrum, and she was around a lot of uh, gaslighting um, narcissists, so she was always working on her spiritual abilities. Like, she was always becoming the Kate. Because I didn't know, yeah. like, I was always alone. How did you, yeah. how did you do the things? Which things? Everything. Uh, our, because you had the card thing, and what about before that? And what about before that? You know what I mean? Oh, like the tarot card thing? Well, like the very first, what was the very first moment where you were like, I am different? Oh, I've always known I was different, but I thought okay. I was just really annoying and loud. Oh, okay. Not different 
any other way than that. I remember being in the like um, the private Twin Flame rooms on Facebook, which I don't subscribe to Twin Flame anymore. I just want to let you guys know that I've seen too much and it's bullshit. But anyway, back to uh, the topic. But I was an admin of this like really large group and I would just make welcome videos and like just try to include everybody like like hey everybody make a welcome video and let everybody know who you are and blah 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 and I was like we have all found each other and we're all interested in the same thing we should start like doing healing the world stuff right and they were all like my partner and my divine partner is still married to his karmic and literally and I was like cool that sucks so um <laughs> terrible anyway we have abilities to do things. We should do things, right? Like, what is this about? The spirituality. Like, we're awakening to these things. Let's do the things. And everybody's like, yes, soap opera, melodrama, blah, 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 blah. Angels, blah, blah. Mary Magdalene and Jesus are twinkling, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I guess so. Um, and then I started to, like, really buy into all of that, like, that own, its own dogma. Because... I didn't research further than the gross surface stuff and it was online and there was stuff to read. And so I was like, yeah, 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 that makes sense. And then there was tarot readers and it matched up. And then I was like, my uh, divorce had just fallen apart and he had, he was in prison. And so I was like depressed, but didn't know I was depressed. And I was spending hours and hours and hours watching tarot videos in my bed like that's how I learned how to read the cards and like hours like to the point where my oldest pretty much had to step up and be a parent a lot of the times and I didn't realize that was kind of happening like I, it was just bad and then I would like put so much into these readings that were like oh there's going to be union next month and blah 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 union means t like they've twisted the meaning of it because in the in that community union means like together but since okay. nobody was coming together because they're not actually like like union in spirit union in spiritual marriage union in like there was all these different things for oh. and then there was holding space people didn't tell their person that they were twin flames so there was like stalker energy um most of them were already married and that was fine um all of that was good like it didn't matter because their souls were married so they were actually cheating on them with their karmic partner like it was just i have crazy. a question about that what did the other person okay so like say uh, it was like a person in there. What did the other person that was being stopped think of this? Think of like, did they ever tell these people their their twin flame? Most of them didn't because they were holding space and they thought it was against the rules that you had to discover that you were one on your own. So they were just like obsessed, obsessed and stalking. And it was fine. And they just were not telling. And me, I told the person, I was like, this is what we are. This is blah, blah, blah. This is what I, I remember when I found out, like I figured out that they weren't mm -hmm. and my world like turned gray and everything spiraled. I was like, if I'm not a twin flame, then what the fuck am I? Like I invested. And I think that's why it's hard for people to get out of that spirit, mm -hmm. that pocket they've invested so much time and energy into this relationship and they have to prove that it is right, right. and that they are divinely together and all these naysayers are gonna laugh right and they're like and they just get stuck in it for a really long time plus it's really hard to get out of because it is energetically intertwined but they yeah. think that if they have these past lives with people that means that they were divinely together we've all had past lives with everybody like literally everybody in some form or fashion so like and before the past life thing i thought i maybe had like one i didn't have any clue like i knew past lives were a thing i knew they existed but i somehow like attributed it to the astrology wheel and since i was a taurus i was like this is my like aries would be first taurus would be my second life I didn't know how to sense. figure it out. That makes sense because I've heard people hey, look at its names. Uh, I've heard people say that before with the, the wheel. Maybe it was you. 
I don't know. I've heard that before. But I'm always trying to make sense of stuff. So I'm like patterns, uh, making sense with the patterns, the numbers. This has to be the thing. You know, those people that are on TikTok and they're like, and then um, the numbers, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then there's that in the months. And then that's in the song lyrics. And then that's and it's like, it's got to be. And it's like, no, that's not really what that's not really what happens. Yes, that makes sense, especially with the twin flame thing, because it's like something that seems so real. And then all of a sudden it's not. It's like if somebody were to be like, Kate, airplanes are not real. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, it's your life. Mm-hmm. It is your passion. It's your life. It's everything. And then all of a sudden it's just like, holy fuck, mm-hmm. holy fuck. And then unbraiding it all and going back and getting all the residual and getting all that residue off and getting all the contracts off. And then do you know how many fucking lives we have with these people where our humans go, this is my divine counterpart. And then we have a ceremony with like blood oaths and fucking like fire pits and shit and like bind our souls together even more. It's like, there's a knot in your hair. Let's fray it to get it out. Oh, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I've never heard you say that before. Oh, what a great point. And it's just more knots and more knots and more knots. And it's like, now take a straightener to it. Like, don't deep condition it. Just burn it off. Burn it. And tangle it more and more and more. Is a marriage ceremony binding for more than one life? Yeah, it's a ceremony. Well, it can be, but there's like, there's special wording in marriage ceremonies. Like, it'll be like, till death do us part. Boom, out. Like, those don't bind as much. It's the, like, really, like, deep spiritual kind of bindings. I love you forever. That's Gross. 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 That. Yeah, it's, it's super simple. It, that, it's, it's super simple. And then once you realize it's super simple, you can undo any of it. Because it's just like, it's like um, a kid can't tie their shoes, right? They just don't fucking know how. But once you know how, it's super fucking simple. And it, that's all it is. It's just it's just remembering how to do the things. Um, I want to talk about... So I was telling someone the other day that was in the mentorship program. Uh-huh. I was talking about how, like... Uh, I told you this, but I was talking about how you and I were working on the phone. And we used to go super slow. And we were working in Russia, uh, like, in a past life. And like Kate and I were like guiding each other and like figuring out how we do things together. And Kate's a seer and I'm a feeler and we could both tune into the same thing. And so we were doing this life and Kate was doing something really big and it was going in slow motion and it was like really painful. And we were like falling asleep on the phone and it was taking us hours. And we figured out how to just speed. I was like, time isn't real. Um, actually, at that point, I was like, I'm the goddess of time. Like, so. so. <laughs> but anyway, the concept got there, but it was like, time's not real. Let's just speed it up. And so we tried it and it worked. And I can't tell you how many times I sat there with Reiki hands back in the day before I figured out the energy stuff, just sitting there. I was going to say, show us, show us Reiki hands, cat. Just, okay, just melting the thing for hours for hours hours melting a kidney stone and it's just like all you have to do is speed it up well it's very interesting oh tell the story of discovering the mek do you remember it i'm trying to think because like right now it's sending me back to the very beginning it's like um we were both magnetized to each other. Couldn't stop. I couldn't stop going to your page. And then you couldn't stop going to mine. And I had no videos. This was after. You had session. videos. You had, you had two session like series on your page. So you had a bunch of videos. That was afterwards. Somebody, was it you that asked me? No, you were like, tell your story. And I was like, I don't know. What would I oh, say? Probably because that's me. Okay. Go ahead, do a story Tell time. Story. Tell everybody about it. And I was like, "How do I do that?" <laughs> just pick up the camera and record it. Just record it. 
Yeah. And okay, so I'm trying to like process it all in my head. And then um, we were working together a lot. It was very, I remember it was really explodey. Uh, like every time I would talk to you or see you, like it was like a bunch of fireworks. And I, and I remember being like, cat, fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. That's uh, that's you. And you were just like, <laughs> uh, like in a good no, way. No, we, we had that one conversation because I was waiting for you to get off of work. Uh huh. And it was like, um, I need help with something, like, to look at something. Or, like, it was something with the tree or something was going on with my, like, uh, tree form. Uh-huh. And um, Kate was like, is it, is it normal to, like, see how your day was? Like, think out if you had a good day? And I was like, oh, I think about you during the day, too. Like, I've been waiting for you to get home. And you're like, oh, my God, because I've been waiting to get home, too, to talk to you. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, no, I love you. I love talking to you. And it was like, that's how it started. It was like, okay, cool. We both are cool. We're cool. Okay. Okay. Because I had never had a friend that I could, um, like, talk like that to or that would, like, that actually gave a shit. You know what I mean? Like, like they were just like, well, they would want me to drive them somewhere or uh, they would want to like do something or, you know what I mean? It was never I like. I still wanted to do stuff. What? I wanted to heal things. Yes, but you would also be like, how was your day? Uh, That's why I was like, is that normal? This has never happened. Weird. <laughs> the amount of time, if I could count how many times Kate has asked, is this normal? Kat, so I, my brain really likes when you're around. Is this normal? Yes, Kate, I think that's friendship. What is that? No, I'm just <laughs> The MEK was when there was stuff on... Um, we were working in the Harry Potter feet. realms. Was it? Mm-hmm. What about the glue with Max's feet? That was because of the Voldemort stuff that was okay. on. This is before we learned how to feed things to our lowest dimensional forms. Uh-huh. And I was still operating from dark, bad, light, good, because gross. And uh, um, we were trying to figure out there was gooey stuff all over uh, my nine-year-old. Well, they weren't nine at the time, <laughs> but there was gooey stuff all over their feet. And we had to get it off, and it was black tar. I knew black tar was part of the smoke monster. It was its tar form. And I was like, that's evil. That's darkness. We got to get that off. And you were like, I mean, it's sticky. I know how to get things off. And I was like, oh, okay, how? And you were like, you just pour methyl ethyl ketone on it. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Methyl ethyl ketone, or MEK for sure. And then I was like, but you have to douse it with water. Or else it's going to burn. You can't, can't get it on the skin. You and you can't. <laughs> if you do, it's got to be a little bit. Like, we were really, really, really careful. And, like, we did everything so precisely when it came to figuring out, like, if we had a healing thing where it had a, like, fuse box, we would walk over to the fuse, energetically, walk over to the fuse box, open the door, then we would locate the wires, then we would strip the wire. Like, that's how we know how to do it from the base up. That's why we know how to do all the things is because we did all the all the things. things. Um, Days and, and hours. When we poured the MEK energetically on my kids' feet and it did not burn them, we were like, <laughs> what? <laughs> we can pour this on darkness? And then I had a vacuum and I was sucking up like a smoke monster kind of thing because that was one of my spiritual tools. And I was like, can we pour MEK in the tank? And then we tried it and we were like, it turned to like gold dust. Like, what is this? this is and it was it's like, oh my God, this is the best ever. This is so fast. So we learned the speed up thing. We learned the MEK thing, and then we learned um, by happenstance, like, take that fuse box things, for instance, right? Because, okay, well, with the MEK, we would call it, like, if we ran into anything sticky, we would just be like, oh, automatically, MEK, pour MEK on it. Yep, that works. Got it. So then it it took out the turning things from dark to light and went into 
This works really well to get the sticky off. It's like Goo Gone times 3000 in spiritual <laughs> work. That was perfect. So then <laughs> whenever we did that, we were like, yeah, use the MEK, pour the MEK. And then finally it was like Kate's MEK healing. Um, and then when we discovered the fuse box thing, like that kind of stuff, the step-by-step, it was more like, oh, here's another fuse box. Can we just do what we did the last time to this one? And then it did it. And we were like, you can just you don't have to redo it. it. You don't have to redo it. You can copy what you did and pick, like that's a healing. That's a healing. And it was like, what? And then the phrase, that whole house cleanse, the beginning of the house cleanse that I have in my first pin video, like I would say that, walk us through that like every fucking time. Um and then finally we just shortened. I was like, after two hours on the phone of repeating it over and over and over again. It was just like, can we just do the thing and add a whoosh? And it and it did it. And we were like, this that is crazy. Everything. It was great. And then, and then in the beginning, uh, there was a talking guy in my head, and that's how. Oh he yes. Told me to talk to Cat. Joseph! Like, so I'm like, you're in a seer, right? Well, my entire life, I've been seeing this guy. Seeing this guy right here. This guy. My entire life. Just thought it was normal. Um, and then uh, I was on this session with another practitioner because Kat was full. And um, they actually ended up saying something to Kat that I was full of shit. Because in this session, I was like, there's... Okay, so all these questions that you're asking me, there's a guy telling me, like, there's a guy, and it's there, and they're speaking with me about it. Like, they'll tell me answers sometimes, or it'll be like in my head. Like, we come up with these answers together. And they're like, Yes, this is is the best part. P.S., this is the best part. Kay didn't know what, like, spirit guy didn't know anything. Like, this was just a guy, and everybody had it. Okay, go on. I mean, you did know. Because you yeah. asked, but that's a different story. But like, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't. Fully yeah, born. at this point in time, I, d- I had no concept because I, I didn't come from spirituality. I didn't come from any kind of religion. Um, I knew nothing, and I still kind of don't know anything about it. Cat, yeah, fills me in sometimes, and I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, um, and so this this guide uh, was like talking to me, and I was like telling this practitioner about it, and they were like. What they were like playing along with me. So the fact that they kept calling me a liar, it was just weird, weird. Uh, and I was like, yeah, they're holding a goblet and they're they're making gestures with their hand. And they're like talking back and forth to me. And we're like, I'm asking them the questions then they'll ask me questions and I'll get the answers in my head. And sometimes they'll tell me the answers. And they anyway, uh, they told me I was going to throw up during the session and stuff like that. And before I knew what any of the kicking out things were, um, I kept cutting them and yeeting them out of my body because they kept trying to come into my body. It was the weirdest fucking thing. Um, And then they ended up throwing up a lot, like a lot, because I kept kicking them out. I was like, I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Go away. Go fuck off. Go fuck yourself. And I like I kept doing that. Uh, It was weird anyway. So I like. Anyway, after that, Cat finally has a session open up because I'm like, hey. I started a cancellation. I started a cancellation list. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so this person and uh, many others around Cat kept telling her that I was a liar with this uh, this guide uh, that was, you know, randomly up there. And then Cat had cancellations. And finally... Hold on. I don't I don't listen to people when they say that someone's a liar or they say that they're a horrible person or they say that they're anything. I go, okay, cool. And then I like even now, even nowadays, like I'll have people blocked that Kate doesn't. Kate has people blocked that I don't like. We don't fucking play that game. Like Mm -hmm. just letting you know. So anybody telling me anything about anybody, I'm just like, I don't whatever, I guess. Because it's useless. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so. It's, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Abby said, Kat, do you merge with Kate? And I was like, no. <laughs> I did for that se- our first session because that's yeah. how I did things. And you were like, you're the first person that makes me face them. Why do you make me face them? And I was like, because I want to see. I want to see what you're doing. Oh, because when I would enter into people, 
I would always come from behind, from their back. And I didn't know why I did. I just did. And I was like, why are we looking face to face? Like, this is very odd. Because I could feel it. I could feel Kate face to face as I merged into their body. The stare. Like, what's up? Okay, yeah, okay. Forehead to forehead. We were making out. Sorry. Hell yeah. (laughs) Yes. Anyway, it was the first, but like, she, every time I would tell her these things, I was like, yeah, there's this guy. And she, like, talked to me about him instead of, like, casting him off. Well, Kate was like, there's this guy. And I was like, okay. And I was still kind of weird about that. I've forgotten that anybody had even said anything. The only part I remembered was, um, like, Kate was like, yeah, I had a session with blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, you're the one who threw, like, made her throw up. And Kate's like, well, that's embarrassing. Um, even though you're not embarrassed, but that's, mm-hmm. like, what you said. And, um... So when you started talking about the guy, I was just kind of listening, but I could quote unquote see him like I could feel him. And he was in this like big, dark, um, like rectangular catacomb kind of room. Um, and Kate was like, yeah, he has this chair. And I was like, Kate, is it a throne? Why didn't it call you by your name? I mm-hmm. said, babe, probably. Mm-hmm. I don't call anybody by their name. I was like, is it a throne? And you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, it is. And then Kate was like, um, yeah, and he's got this cup he waves around. And I was like, is that the Holy Grail? <laughs> and she was like, wait, is it the what? And then she asked him and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. And I was like, hold on a minute. What's his name? <laughs> and I Google imaged him and I sent it and I was like, is it this guy? And Kate was like, he looks just like that, but Asian. Like, he doesn't look, because it was a whitewashed picture. And I was like, well, the Holy Grail is during, like, medieval time. I was like, motherfucker, I'm a lady of the lake. Yeah. And then I went in um, to, like, Joseph kind of had to, like, scan. After, After working with the last person, Joseph pretty much had to, like, energetically scan the people or whatever like be the discernment and i went in and i was making the raunchiest like dad jokes the dad jokes make a lot of sense now because <laughs> of who it, who it actually is <laughs> um, <laughs> and i sat down and we were just like laughing it up and talking it up and then i and then he showed us that the lake that the lady of the was behind his motherfucking house and i was like then why the fuck was I stuck in the water for so damn long? And it was like, I didn't know you needed help getting out, which also <laughs> makes sense now that I know who it is. And also showing me around. This is my chair. These are my curtains. <laughs> By the way, it's it's Kate's husband, Shaden, but we did not know that. <laughs> like a different form of him. This is my house. Anyway, um, that's where you are over there. We, I keep <laughs> peering in there, and there's this person that comes and visits you. So I just think that it's normal. I- and after the, like, third or fourth time or whatever, we realized there were fucking souls stuck in the the, uh, go- the fucking goblet, the, the Holy Grail shit. And we were like, Joseph, why the fuck are there, like, souls in here? And he was like, oh. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. <laughs> And then there was a person that I had worked with at the time, and they were like, it sounds a little schizophrenia to me. Like, it doesn't sound like they're all there. Like, that doesn't sound like what a spirit guide talks like. Like, a spirit guide's pretty, like, guiding and knowing. And I was like, okay, I'll present it to them. So I got on the phone with Kate, and I was just like, because I was still friends with this other person, and them I trusted, which I don't anymore, but that's besides the point. And I was like, I didn't want to tell Kate that she might be fucking loony, especially since she and I both had conversations, and I could feel and see the thing, and I was like, well, then I'm fucking crazy too, you know, fucking whatever. I mean, I was like, at least we're on the same crazy channel. So (laughs) we worked with walking Joseph through like rebirth like spiritual rebirth and like since joseph shaden he went along with it and kate went along with it and he ended up looking like an adonis like a greek adonis for a little bit but it didn't stick because it was just like a different version of him like a different life it wasn't a big deal um but that was some of that spiritual nasty gross hierarchy shit that like tried to come between me and her but we just laughed and had fun and did the things anyway i'm just like whatever 
And then what when he came it? back, uh, it's when my life turned around again. Mm-hmm. So it's like weird. I don't know. They're like, that's not real. Um, they need to be let go or whatever the fuck they said. They need yeah. To let go. And then like uh, my guide was like, are you sure? And I was like, I don't know. This is what they said. And then they like gave the saddest look when they turned around and they were just like, okay. Can we go back and redo that? Like, oh yes, uh, just kidding. Come back. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I'm like a jokester. They're like, yes, you are. <laughs> oh yeah. Spirit's nice if he's locked that down. Yeah. We need to close. This was fun, but it's eight oh five. We need to oh. close portals to all the people we were talking about. Oh yeah. Spirit of the Night Skips activate the welded shut healing to all that, the backdoor door stuff removal healing to all that, the number 12 healing to all of that, and uh, they get that over so the fuck off me healing to all of that. I don't want you, 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 or you. Fuck off. So just letting you guys know, like, you can vent, you can talk, you can reminisce, whatever, but when you do that, you open an energetic portal to those energies, like a welcome mat, to let them back in. It's not dangerous, except, uh, like, the way the way I like to explain it is like you're you're uh, you're your own club. You're the manager of your own club and you have bouncers and you say, don't let this person in. And that person shows up at the door and your bouncers are like, you can't fucking get in here. It's <laughs> not on the fucking list. And then you walk up to the door and you go, welcome. Come on in. And they go, but uh, name uh, lit. And you go, George, stop it. They can come right in. Silly. And then when you're done with the conversation, if you don't kick them the fuck back out and, like, get them the fuck away, your bouncer is going to be like, they're allowed in any time. They can just come in. It's like, no, no, they can't. I just needed to say some things. Thanks. Bye. Mm-hmm. Here's nice if he's coming and paste that to Cat, Cat's house, my house, shaden bin, and whoever else wants it. In the live, if they want in it. In live. So can sense oh, in that. the podcast. In the podcast. And the TikTok. My TikTok, Cat's TikTok. And the joint TikTok. Yes. Yeah, it feels good. And lock this down. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. And letting fun. us chit chat and say the things. That was fun. It was a nice little thing. Talk I about hope you enjoyed it. it. We enjoyed it. We liked it a lot. It was, it was fun. fun. <laughs> Yeah, see you in class Thursday, Sierra. All right, everybody disconnect. Ha ha, said it first. Bye. 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 To book a dual session with Kate and Kat, visit either of our websites listed in the description of this video. For a spirit guide reading, you can book with Captain Kate at www.captainkate.com. For a one-on-one trauma healing session with Cat and Boots, you can visit www.catandboots138.com.